OJ Simpson is a former NFL superstar and convicted criminal for an incident related to robbery and kidnapping that took place in Las Vegas in 2007. And as I'm sure you all remember, he was also found financially responsible for the murder of Ronald Goldman. But amidst all this, he managed to snag some pretty fancy real estate in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and South Florida. OJ's infamous Brentwood, California home was purchased in 1977 for $650,000 and featured 6,200 square feet with seven beds and six baths. After his acquittal for the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldsman, OJ was strapped for cash. The home went for $2.5 million in July 1997 during an auction after the home was foreclosed on. While this home was demolished in 1998 after it was purchased, we're going to give you all the details and what it used to look like. In addition, we'll take a look at one of OJ's other properties in his prison cell in Clark County Detention Center. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. OJ Simpson has had quite possibly one of the most infamous careers in all of sports, garnering a net worth of $3 million. As a result of the Ron Goldman civil case, OJ was ordered to pay the Goldman family $33.5 million in damages. That number has grown to over $40 million today with interest. Roughly $500,000 was paid down through the sale of various assets and memorabilia. Today, OJ's primary source of income is a fully funded NFL pension that reportedly is worth as much as $5 million. State law protects this pension money from being claimed by the Goldman family. According to legal filings submitted, his 1982 divorce from Nicole, OJ at that point had a net worth of $10.8 million. That's the same as around $18 million today. Around half of his net worth came from the value of his Brentwood estate. And furthermore, the same filings showed that OJ's monthly income in 19 1992 was 55k, which would have been the equivalent of about 92k per month today. The majority of that came from his Hertz endorsement contract. To settle the divorce, OJ agreed to pay Nicole $10,000 per month in child support, plus a one-time payment of just over $433,000. OJ also gave Nicole a rental property in San Francisco, while he continued to live in his Brentwood mansion until he was evicted in 1997. And in 2007, Simpson was arrested for stealing sports memorabilia. I was convicted on charges of multiple felony counts, including criminal conspiracy, kidnapping, assault, and robbery. He was sentenced to 33 years, but was released in October 2017 after being granted parole. He's probably not making as much as those big bucks he used to, but he's still living in a nice house. These days, he's living in Las Vegas. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer. Today, we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. We're we're gonna check out where the infamous OJ Simpson has called home over the years from his Brentwood mansion to his current home and even his prison cell. As you know, over here we talk about celebrity houses, but if you've ever wondered about Steve Will Do It's extravagant car purchases or about Summer Ray's new Benz, we recently started a new channel called Famous Fashion where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. We'll link you one of our latest videos, join us and subscribe over there. Being a teen and already having millions to your name, I guess you gotta spend it on something, and it seems one of the first things Leroy wanted to fix was his teeth. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and now let's get into this video. After OJ's first big ticket, he purchased this infamous Brentwood, California home in 1977 for $650,000. This home featured 6,200 square feet on a 12,473 square foot property and boasted seven bedrooms and six bathrooms. After OJ's acquittal for the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldsman, he was strapped for cash. This home ended up going for $2.5 million in July 97 during an auction after the home was foreclosed on and it was demolished in 1998. But let's see how it looked before that demolition. The grand entrance of the property featured a long driveway with room for at least two cars in the garage, plus plenty more space for a fleet of vehicles on the drive. Off a residential road in LA, OJ had some peace and quiet from the noise coming from the street. The property was so private that neighbors wouldn't be able to hear any possible domestic trouble, if anything actually occurred that is. The foyer featured a large white door, green potted plants to freshen things up, 
and various pieces of artwork with access to the hallways, spiraling staircase, and family living areas. Although the walls throughout the home were mainly bare, they were decked out with the occasional piece of furniture, artwork, or even some of OJ's sports memorabilia. It also happens to be where OJ stepped out the door when he finally turned himself in. During his trial, photos of OJ's mansion had leaked, which included spaces like a comfortable looking family and TV room. This room was the entire length of the house and a perfect spot for Simpson to kick back and watch football when he wasn't calling the games. The family room continued with cream colored couches, big pillars, and several plants. Interesting that much of the downstairs living area were kept plain and white. Not only did the Simpson residence come with white walls, but also white furniture to keep the room as bright as possible since there didn't appear to be any windows. OJ's mansion featured an MVP master bedroom which boasted a massive fireplace, king bed, and allegedly it's where the prosecution said they found his bloody sock. This room was styled very much like a room you might find a Hollywood actress's dressing room with lights illuminating a mirror. OJ's lavish abode did feature some goodies too as the games room had a pool table filled with memorabilia from his playing days. Another luxe feature was OJ's backyard that included a gorgeous swimming pool and a tennis court. He mentioned that his bedroom's balcony overlooked this beautiful space. OJ's front yard and backyard were connected by a walkway which during the investigation was interestingly found splattered with blood. Kind of ruins the pretty images you would have of this property. However, OJ claimed that there's no way a person could have jumped over this fence and downplayed the evidence found there. OJ went from that gorgeous mansion to somewhere slightly darker. I'm gonna call prison quite the downgrade. In 2007, Simpson was arrested for stealing sports memorabilia and Simpson had said he was trying to receive sporting memorabilia that had been stolen from him in the first place. But after being found guilty, he was sentenced to 33 years in prison, but he was released in October 2017 after being granted parole three months earlier. Simpson's cell was 125 square feet in size and featured a single bed, a water fountain, and a bathroom. Simpson had also shared a cell with one other inmate about 25% larger than the average cell. There is a double bunk and Simpson slept on the bottom bunk apparently. Following his release from prison in 2017, Simpson found himself in an impressive Las Vegas mansion that featured over 5,000 square feet and boasted five bedrooms for $1.8 million. The home features a number of lux things including a small putting green in the backyard and a lavish pool. He's also only miles from the action packed Las Vegas Strip. Like his home in Brentwood, the gated community offers OJ an extra sense of protection, but he has been spotted enjoying Halloween with some trick or treaters, even taking selfies with them. I mean, not all ex-convicts are able to land on their feet quite as well as OJ has, but he seems to be living the dream. While OJ no longer lives in Kendall, Florida, he used to own at least one fine piece of land in South Florida. This home featured a massive pool and it was beautifully surrounded with palm trees. This property was also gated and featured a pretty impressive roundabout driveway adding to the elegance. By the looks of it, it may seem as if the house isn't as big as some of the others he's had over the years, including his current Vegas abode. But you know what they say, less is more. So I think that's about all I got for the homes of the infamous OJ Simpson, or as some articles like to call him the disgraced former football player. Either way, we checked out his former Brentwood mansion with the unpleasant history, a glimpse at his current Vegas living situation, and even his prison cell. After checking out OJ's properties, what did you guys think? Personally, I'm a fan of that Vegas home because who wouldn't love a golf course in their backyard? Not too shabby for someone who was living in jail for a while there. Anyways, let me know what you thought about OJ's homes past and present down in that comment section. I'd also love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel, we'll link you one of my latest videos and trust me, you don't want to miss this one. I'm super excited to announce that I am engaged! So I figured that I would tell you guys all about the proposal, just tell you a bit about me and Michael's story and the ring. Thank Thanks for watching. I'm still reading all of your comments here, so keep the house tour suggestions coming. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!